today is finally the day. Uh, I've been talking to y'all about this for a week. For a freaking week, bruh. Probably like longer than a week since my pregnancy even came about. But we had like the whole situation where it's like nobody better not say it's a girl, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to start the stream by saying regardless, okay? And I've said this multiple times too. Regardless. Mm -hmm. If it's a girl, if it's a boy. It's a blessing. We good. Like, yeah. it's good either way. You feel me? Like, I could even bring up, I don't know, like years ago when I used to say that I would not have kids at all. Yeah. And then there was a joke that I said, like, if, if I do have kids, it better be a boy. Yeah, but if yeah. it's a girl, then I'm going to sneak out the hospital without her. Like, jokingly, though. Like, y'all, and this is the thing, because people will go back and bring that old stuff up and then be like, oh, but remember when you said, yeah, I remember it. I remember. And I'll tell you I said it. I I'll tell you I said it over and over and over. Like, what do you mean? I will tell you. Some people need to learn how to own up to what they said, okay? Me, y'all know, I will tell you, because it's a joke. We got my family watching in New Jersey, and we got Key Bay family watching. Excuse me. We got Key Bay family watching. They live here in Alabama, yeah. but, you know, we wanted to do it virtually. I didn't really want to have, like, a a, a party, yeah. like a gender reveal party. So let's review. Okay. <laughs> let's review um the first ultrasound pictures. We did this last night, actually. But this one was March 29th, okay? Nobody knew I was pregnant. Like I said, I found out I was pregnant on March 4th. And a funny joke is that my, when my sister was pregnant, she was grown. My sister was like 25, right? Key's sister was 25 when she found out she was pregnant. And she was so nervous to tell her mother. And mom, I know you're watching this. Shayna could tell you. I told Shayna, I said, the day I get pregnant, I'm going to just call my mom and tell I'm going to just, what, what I'm scared of, excuse me. I'm going to just call her and tell her. So the day I found out I was pregnant, what I do? Call my mom in the video chat. Now, mom, you could be honest. My face was kind of straight. I was kind of like, um, mom, I got to tell you something. It's not like I was like, oh, hey, girl, guess what? I'm having a baby. Like, nah, my face was kind of like, mom, let me show you something real quick. But I called my mom. I had like a, a serious face because it was serious. Okay. And I was like, um, I got to tell you something. And then I whipped out. Well, I didn't whip it out. It was sitting on the back of the toilet. And I just flipped the camera. And there was two positive pregnancy tests. But I told y'all, my family took it fine. Like, people people were like, oh, my gosh, what did your mom say? I'm not a kid. <laughs> I am 28 years old, okay? 28. And even my mom said, oh, that's why you were so sleepy. I took the pregnancy test the day after my mom left my house. My mom was at my house for a week. And I was like, oh. And it's crazy. You know, sometimes as women, sometimes you might be late, you know. Mom was only late by two days. I said, oh, no. Where's the pregnancy test? Where's the pregnancy test? Hello? Like, what? Yo, shout out to Key Bay family. I told y'all the family is in here today. It's over there, babe. So I called my mom. I had called my sister, but of course, like, you can tell your sister whatever. Like, <laughs> I called my sister. I told my sister. But this is why I showed my mom, okay? I showed my mom these two pregnancy tests on the video chat, and my mom was happy. At the end of the day, I'm grown, you know? Like, <laughs> well, my mom know that, you know, I'm... I'm pretty established as far as a grown up, so we smooth sailing. And then we got the good daddy right here. And then my family good, his family good. Like we we got the support. But um yeah, so that's how I told my mom and my sister. And then we had to like tiptoe in our Jordans and tell Quan sister. We had to tell Lacking sister because <laughs> You know when it's early, like, you don't tell people about your pregnancy until you get past, like, the safe part, which is the third month. And it's just, like, how I felt, too. Like, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> we just going to say it. My grandma, she's watching this. Grandma, I was scared to tell you. <laughs> you're going to go tell everyone. You're going to call the folks in Virginia. You're going to go, you're, you'll call whoever. You, 
You're going to tell Bruno when he come drop off the oxygen. You, you just got to tell everybody. So mm-hmm. I was scared. But my grandma held it down. Quan felt like his mom would tell. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was just like we didn't know how to go about it. But it was cool because we ended up going to. Um, my sister held it down, though. Yeah, Quan's sister kept the secret. Yeah. She kept the secret, okay? So shout out to Sheila for keeping the secret. I know you see it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking to Shout out to Sheila for keeping the secret, okay? And then we went to, where did we go? What? Me- no, we went to Memphis last year. Tennessee. Mm-hmm. We went to Tennessee. Remember? And then we got there late hey. at night. And the thing is, like, we was saying that we was not going to tell the family until Mother's Day. But we was going to be there for two days. And, and this is like, oh, Kia, Kia, you're not going to have a drink. Kia, you not finna. So I was like, you know what? As soon as we got there, we took the ultrasound upstairs and then we told Key Bay family. And it was a Mother's Day surprise for Key Bay family. So, like, that whole weekend, it was really good. That was my first Mother's Day weekend. And then when I got home, I told y'all. So that was a long time from March 4th all the way till Mother's Day. When was that? Like May 13th or something mm-hmm. like that. And I told y'all, when I tell y'all that I'm pregnant, don't, please don't say that you knew. Because nobody knew, okay, period. So this was the original picture of the baby. The tiny. That wasn't even a baby. It's just a little specimen. tiny specimen. Yeah. A tiny specimen existing on the inside, okay? Ooh. And then, as y'all know, this is my go-to. My go-to because this one was a month later. And look how defined the baby was. Like... The baby turned to be this, okay? Which was an actual baby. So this one was on April 26th. And then today. Let me tell y'all about today, okay? I just looked at the chat. I see Tia said, Kia, you look so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, shout out to everybody in here. Can we get some key baby in the chat? Yeah, like we got a lot of folks in the chat. Okay. Look at all them big head babies. Yes. We we seen the big head baby today. The baby got the hair from you. The baby got the hair from you. Why why are you cursing in my stream? This is this is a civilized Christian Minecraft server, okay? You cannot curse. You can't, you can't be in the civilization. I can't do that. But do you see like the baby getting so big you can't even really see it? I don't even know what she was taking pictures of. This is the head right here. You can tell the head because it's just big like yours. This is the arms right here. The baby was doing the teach me how to Dougie um on the camera. I told you on my other ultrasound the baby was uh sitting still right. So now the baby getting so big, all the pictures is like so close up. My baby is 1.4 pounds today. Mm-hmm. That's T. And I'm only five, five months pregnant and the baby already 1.4 pounds. Do you know how big that baby finna be? Do you know how big that baby finna be? I'm about to start mm-hmm. eating uh, lettuce and grass from outside. That ain't gonna work. Yes, it is, because that baby is eating everything that I've been eating. Today, I ordered chicken in the sack, and they messed up my order, and I cried over that, too. Like, look, don't don't put my chicken in the sack. Y'all know how I feel about that. But look, so this is the baby face. The baby kept pushing their face up on the screen in the ultrasound. See? That's the baby. It was a happy baby. Yeah, the baby was dancing. This one, oh, that's the face two. This is the face two. And then, that's the baby arm. Wait. See, like one arm, two arm. And the baby was wiggling their arm. It, you <laughs> wiggling. See it, though. You if you can see, see it, it would be crazy. Like, the baby was wiggling their arm. They was turning their head like this. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I've never seen the baby move because in the other ultrasound, it's just sitting still. And then this is another one, the baby with their hand on their face. Can y'all yeah, see that? Yeah, that was an issue too. Yeah, the baby keep their hand in their face. You feel me? So, yeah, that was today. We saw the baby dancing baby, okay? Mommy, daddy, baby. Mommy, dancing baby. Mommy, girl, a boy. 
mommy, daddy, girl, or boy, okay? Yeah, you know, one or the other. Yeah. Do y'all like the balloons? Yeah, we took our hard time. They was hard to put. First of all, you know the dollar store, Dollar Tree, they got a helium tank, right? Why are we going to go in there? I really think that little bald head girl just didn't want to do it. I was like, oh, can you blow these up? Oh, no, sorry, I can't blow them up because I can't charge you for helium. Uh, duh, stupid. How about you charge for the size of the balloon? But anyway, so we had to leave there. You got them blue. Then went to another store. They didn't do it. Then went to the next store, and then nobody was there to do it at the balloon yeah. part. Yeah. And then the last store that we went to is our regular grocery store that we shop in. Thank but the, the lady talked too much. I, I, I said that too. Now I Go get the chips. All right, go. Yes, that's why I was like, Bay. I was like, Bay, can you go get these chips that I want? Okay, um, call your sister and I'm going to call my mom. So, like, if we on the phone, then she can leave us alone. <laughs> like, like, for one, like, if you what? know us, like, me personally, yeah. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Much. Yeah, I don't, don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. You, <laughs> you telling talk. us, she like, she was telling me, I'm nosy. yeah, <laughs> I want to know what y'all having. I'm nosy, all this stuff. Then she want to say, um, yeah, when I had my babies, they talk, uh, They gave it away because they said, oh, look at her. Look at him. Look at him. He's flipping me off. Flipping me off is slang for when they can see the baby's wiener. I'm like, I don't like. <laughs> she was dead serious, though. She just talked too much. But she a nice know. person. But even before, like, we've experienced her talking too much before, so it's like, yeah. yeah. I don't see Buddy, though. I think he gone. Who? The one. Oh, the one that got in trouble. Yeah. The one that got in trouble. Yeah, I ain't seen him. I said, damn. So, I asked you this yesterday, but it's a good question I want to ask just because just before we open this. Who should open it? We. Nah. Good luck. I want to ask you this. What? You know, like the BET Awards and the award goes to. <laughs> and the baby goes to. Like it, man. No, okay. it's only one. Shit. Yeah, it, the baby goes to both of us, okay? But look. What I asked you last night. Okay, first let's say, how do you feel right now about finding, finding out if you having a girl or a boy? Um, Right now? Yeah. Shh. It's up in the air. It's up in the air. It's, I'm nervous. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I am nervous. If y'all can look at <laughs> the camera, I'm nervous. I, <laughs> it is what it is. But boy, or girl, it, it don't matter. My daughter won't either one, so yeah. it don't matter. I'm just happy for new life. Just happy, yeah. baby. That's it. That's like when you came home, when you said, like, we created a life. That's the whole point of it. Like, not a boy, not a girl. We just created a baby. And tell... Tell the the one thing that you want your baby to learn. That no matter what, you know, love exists in us. Yeah. And we'll never turn our back on you. Like your mommy love you, your daddy yeah, love you. For sure. And we need to set an example to show mommy and daddy love each other too. Yeah. Because that's important too. Yeah, that's where they learn it from. And. Ain't that right? Yeah. They learn it from. Watching an us. example, they need yeah. an example. Um, so we lead by example around right here, y'all. Yeah, you got to do that, okay? It's important, yeah. And also, uh, what I said, what you said, well, how I feel right now, yeah. How do you feel? I but feel like, the place. Go ahead, like if I take a dookie, my heart gonna come out my booty. People watching this. Oh. Well, I'm just saying, you asked me how I feel right now. I was, just, I was just answering the question. Yeah. Like. Nervous breakdown. Like, real nervous vibe. Um. Oh, my bad, Cam. You right. I'm supposed to be civilized. My mm-hmm. bad. I didn't, I didn't just say that. Got to care. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's how I feel, though. At least I'm being honest, okay? I feel nervous about it. And then, uh, one thing that I want my child to learn is to be yourself. Because I spent a lot of time trying to, like, change who I was. Like, y'all know, like, I used to hate when people be like, oh, you got a deep voice. So I used to edit my voice and all of that stuff. And it's just like, bruh, (laughs) hello? Like, the reason why you telling me about how I get down is because you still trying to figure yourself out. You, You trying to clock me. 
but you don't even know what you're doing. So I decided to be myself. And guess what? That's when it worked out. I told y'all, it's crazy. Like, it took me that long to grow my audience. But then when I started being myself, it was just like, it was like clockwork once that happened. So be yourself. Um, can we spam the key gift and the key sub in the chat? Because it caught up to 100, even though we already know we had 100. So this paper, it says, we wanted you to be the first to know. Oh, man, I feel like my stomach just got weak. So, oh, it, okay, all right, all right, all right. We all right. wanted to find out on our own at yeah, first, yeah, yeah. okay? We wanted to find out on our own and then bring it to y'all, but we wanted you to be the first to know <laughs> along with us, okay? You ready? No. It's for the rest of our life. Yes, for the rest of our life. We got to deal with your dookie drop. Bay. Oh, something in my stomach. Wait, do. Ah! Bye! Lacking just ran outside, y'all. A few moments later. This is why this is why I have to um tell y'all. Sorry. I never seen y'all never seen him act like Nigga, this. I never seen him this Nigga, happy what? before. I what? never seen him like this. What? I want to tell y'all something, but um, I feel like when I talk, then I'm gonna keep crying again. But um, everybody know like it took a long time for me and. Quan to be physically together and like people said like bad stuff about us being together like oh that's stupid oh why are you dating somebody and you can't see them every day and all this type of stuff but even when we just talked every day I feel like we mastered what people need in their relationship because people relationships just be based off physical like oh we slept together one time so like now you my boo Y'all know that's how relationships go. Like, that's really what it is. Like, if I sleep with you, then we together. Um, And that wasn't what our relationship came from. We have a mutual group of friends. We felt like more than friends. We talk every day, and then people want to preach that communication is the key. But a lot of people still say, like, it's a waste of time and all this stuff. But in the midst of communicating, I could take y'all back to a old conversation that we had. And Quan was like, he was like, you know, I have a daughter, but I want to have a son. And then I said, I don't want to have any kids. Then like, we kind of had a back and forth about it, but... The reason why I was saying that I didn't want to is because 
I just didn't know if it would happen. So, um, it was always spoke that we would have a son. Like, we would joke about it and all that type of stuff. And then today, when I woke up this morning, I felt, like, nervous and anxious. And when I spoke to my mom, she was like, just say a prayer and then try to go back to sleep. And in my prayer, I said... If God lined, if God, if you lined up all these blessings for us and they worked out the way they did, like everything that we wanted, it just happened in a row. Like, and it's because like we, we pray together, you know, like it's, it's something that you got to do, but like, God, you lined up all the blessings in a row. Why would you not bless us with this one? Like. You already blessed us with the baby, regardless, (laughs) like regardless of what the baby is. But anything that we've asked for, asked for specifically, you gave it to us. Anything that we specifically asked for, you gave it to us, even down to where I said for my 27th birthday, we moving together. We we moving in a house Even when we was looking for apartments, y'all know how many times I said, bruh, I just don't want neighbors upstairs. I like to do my stream and my videos. I like to scream in the middle of the night. I want to do what I want to do. Specifically ask for a house. We live in the four bedroom, two bathroom because you have to ask for specifically what you want. And I told y'all when, when you, when you get pregnant, it's 50, 50 regardless. But we specifically spoke on the boy for years. Yeah. No, lacking right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here. We I'm specifically get, spoke on the get. boy for years. Yeah. Specifically. Even down to where I said, let's take it back to the beginning of the stream. If I have a daughter, I'm sneaking out the hospital without her, okay? If I have a daughter, she getting left in the nursery and somebody else like, no. Let me not jump over my prayer like that, but it was, it was that specific. Okay. Look, you didn't even look at this. You just left. That's the picture. That's the last picture she took when she said, close her hand, close your eyes. See, I told you she typed, she didn't type one, two, three. She typed a sentence. So you would be like, you would hear if she put B O Y on the keyboard or spell the girl. But, um, the, the prayer was specific. Down to the point. So I take like everything that happened to me. I just want people to be like, yo. And it's not on your time. It's not on your time. Me and Lacken was together for seven years until we get to be in the same state together. And a lot of people, they would give up on it. But it's just like. I don't know. Like, it's just not your choice. If you want something, you just, you wait until you get it and keep asking for it until you get it. Y'all hear him yelling. He he calling anybody he can. Niggas he didn't even speak to in, in 10 years calling, telling somebody. So, this is for everybody that helped me to just when I told y'all yo just help me speak the boy into existence y'all know I've been asking y'all that and then you still have the people that I really feel like a lot of people was just saying it's a girl just because they want to be different I want to go against the green well we spoken into existence majority rule how about that but anyway here's the paper it's stamped and let me tell y'all, I did not tell y'all this. I used that little stinking, nasty, um, gender predictor. Like where you put like your birthday and your due date or something like that. And it said, it's a girl. Huh. Don't believe in the gender predictor. The only thing that I used that was right is called skull theory. Okay. And I don't even know if skull theory is a hundred percent, but, but I didn't tell y'all I was looking at none of this stuff because then people would be telling you, Oh, you shouldn't be looking. Okay. And you shouldn't be minding my business. Like, let's talk about it. Like, what do you, anyway, as a, as a first time parent, you're going to look at stuff like that anyway. So like, shut up. I'm not going on Google saying like, Oh, uh, what is the death rate? Blah, blah, blah. And that's another thing I don't like too. 
we all know the death rate in the black community when it comes to having children if I tell you I'm having a child, don't let that be the first thing out your mouth before you even say congrats or anything positive. Oh, do you know that black women die? Yeah, you know, I know, they know. Like, stop being so negative. Let's try that. Boom. There you go. There you go, okay? It's in your face. 